Changing the Apple Pencil second generation settings. If you go to support.apple.com, it says go to Settings, Accessibility, Apple Pencil, and you can turn off the double tap gesture or change the duration of the double tap gesture to slow or slowest. Um, is this helpful? No, it's not because it's out of date. Go figure. Let's go into settings. And if we go to accessibility here, there is no Apple Pencil in this at all. And that's because this has been moved to this location. So let's go into Apple Pencil. You can see the double tap flashing there. Um, I've never been able to change the double tap speed since the Apple Pencil moved to this location, so that's fine. Uh, the default is to switch between the current tool and the eraser. And to show you that, let's go into Procreate. I double tap and I'm on the eraser. I double tap, I'm on my tool. I double tap and I'm on the eraser. And this can get really annoying. A lot of times when I'm drawing, I'm repositioning my finger and it switches. Then I reposition my finger and it switches. And then I have to change it back. And then I reposition my finger and it switches. That's very annoying to me. If we go back into the settings here and do switch between current tool and last used, this is only limited use for Procreate. Double tapping here right now switches between the brush and the eraser. If I have the brush going and I do this, and then I go over to Smudge and start smudging. Then I can double tap, go back to the pencil, double tap, and I'm back to Smudge. Uh, this only works between the brush, the smudge, and the eraser. So if you're on the smudge before, and you go over to Eraser to erase that, and double tap, you're back to Smudge again. You're not going back to your Apple Pencil until you actually go to the brush settings there. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. You don't go back to your brush until you actually tap on the brush, and then double tapping will switch between those. That can get confusing. Let's go back into Settings. Uh, show color palette can be useful. We double tap. There's my color palette. I can choose a blue. Double tap. Let's choose a pink. Well, this is actually Magneta, but still. Double tap. There's my palette. Let's go to a green. And that's all very good and well, but like I said, sometimes I'm repositioning and I'm I gotta move my stylus around and suddenly the palette pops up. I don't want the palette to pop up. I wanted to do stuff with the drawing. Okay, so that messes messed that all the way up. So let's go back to the settings. Show ink attributes. Procreate doesn't have ink attributes, so it's not going to do anything. I like to have it off. I like to only draw with the Apple Pencil. You can see that here. If you turn this off, then you can actually draw with your fingers. I don't like to do that, so I leave it on Apple Pencil. Scribble is something that many people find useful. It allows you to write something either in cursive 
and it'll go to a new word. Or you can write plainly, and that will also do it. I don't like Scribble. Other people do. I turn it off. That's my personal preference. The pencil gestures. You've got a left corner swipe and a right corner swipe. So if I swipe up from the left corner, I get a screenshot. And that's nice. Um, I'm going to delete that screenshot. Right corner swipe is supposed to give you the notes. There we are. I don't use that. These are the defaults. You can change this so that you can do a quick note, a screenshot, or have it off. I prefer that one off, and the left corner swipe I prefer to leave on screenshot. It just works better for me. All right, so yeah, this is the Apple Pencil settings, which is only marginally related to Procreate. But I think that it is still quite useful to have. I hope this helps you out. And I hope you have a wonderful day.